my YouTube people, welcome to another video on the channel. Today we've got two Corrales on here, and we're going to give them both a run on the channel today. We've got the Kronos XTR 2022 and the Kangama. We're going to run them both. The reason why I wanted to bring them both out is because they are both kind of similar and yet in some ways different. I've already did a comparison on the different changes between the two um, when the Kangama first came out and I did an unboxing. Um, so I'll put a link to that video up here if you guys are interested in seeing a more in-depth uh, look at what's the difference between the two. But I'm just gonna get them both out to run them. Why? Because I like them both for slightly different reasons. I'll explain more later on, but first, let's go ahead and get one of these going. I'm gonna go with the Kronos first. I just love the Kronos so much. And I kind of like the setup that's in it too. So I'm running a castle system in here, the Mamba X. And it's censored. I mean, does this just respond? I feel like this handles better than the Kangama though. Cause it's a little lower to the ground. It has some better handling characteristics than the Kangama is, but when you get this, you don't really get that for that, right? You really get this to see if you can bash it. So of course we're gonna send it a couple of times off this jump over here. Shock right in, huh? Well, that bites. Yeah, you can see a shock right in broke there. Oh man! Ooh. Aww. Well, that's a wrap for that for now. We'll see if maybe I steal it off the Kangama. We'll see. All right, well, for now, let's go ahead and get the Kangama out. So the Kakama being a little bit more higher up, it's a little bit more top heavy. It doesn't handle as good as the, the Kronos does when you're turning. This more wants to flip on itself, whereas the Kronos is very smooth turning. It's almost like you could take the Kronos and instead of bashing with it, you could really make the Kronos into a more of a uh, race buggy if you were doing like one eighth scale racing or some sort. And even the chassis setup for that on the, on the Kronos, whereas the Kangama, She's just a bash machine. And that's what she wants to do is bash. Just an all day bash machine. And it loves it. Now, obviously, if you got the Kangama, you wanted to just do, if you wanted to do some racing with it and you wanted to set it up for that, obviously you could. There's nothing saying that you couldn't do that, but I'm just saying the Kronos out the box is, it feels like it's already ready for that. Oh. Yeah. 
Yeah, the Kangama is just... It's a bash machine, man. That's what it's made for. I really should stop saying it and probably get a wheelie bar for this thing. Oh. <laughs> oh. Battery must have came unplugged. That was a nasty little dip there. I love to really send that thing, but I really don't want to crash into that uh <laughs> into that concrete over there. Stop it. Oof. I grasp. Coming up in my face. Ooh, nice high jump there. There we go. Stop it. <laughs> That's only half throttle too. Walk that wheelie. With no wheelie bar by the way. Woo! <laughs> oh. <laughs> it got hot. Oh, oh look at the body. <laughs> oh, that's the only thing I have not figured out yet are my my heating issues with this just because I'm running a 13 tooth pinion I could go down but I figured being that it's in the 50s right now maybe it wouldn't have been such a big deal but as you can see it was it was so my options are to go down on here because I do have a fan on here already. So my options are to go down or to put a Max 6 in here. I'm not sure yet. <laughs> the other cool things about these uh, Team Corelli cars. I just took the shock off the Kangama because the Kangama got hot. And I put it on the Kronos because I wasn't done having fun yet. So now I'm back out here with the Kronos ready to rip. How cool is that? It's like when you don't think you have spare parts, you still have spare parts. So I figured, you know what? Let's go ahead and give this thing a couple more rips. Figure we break this thing back out again. Same day, you can see the Kangama sitting over there looking lower than usual.
<laughs> now, don't get it twisted. The Kronos is a basher in its own right, man. Just I think the Kungama is a little bit more of a basher. But if you have a Kronos, there's no need to be mad about not having a Kangama because this thing can put up with punishment too. Oh, that was just a bad landing. Ah, I broke the wing. If that's all that snapped off of there, that's going to be amazing. Yep. Just the wing. That's crazy. That's common though. I break this thing. This thing comes off all the time. I did lose my carbon fiber piece that I had on here, but that's okay. Good thing I took my thumbnails of this thing before. <laughs> I started trashing it. I don't know, I almost kind of like this thing without the wing on it. <laughs> looks a little, looks menacing without the wing on it. <laughs> There was nothing I could do about that one. All right, one more jump here. I'm gonna wrap this up. All right. I'm just being dumb with this thing now. It's just so much fun to play with. Just so you guys know, they were both running on the same Ovonix 6500 100C battery. So, no advantage there. See, that one and this one. Same batteries. All right, y'all, so what do you think? Pretty fun run with both of these cars. They both are awesome. You really can't go wrong with either one, I feel like. However, obviously, I feel like the Kangama can handle a little bit more of a bashing. Don't look at this and be like, oh, but the Kangama's broken. The Kangama's not broken. Nothing on the Kangama has broken in that run. I just took the shock off of the back because the shock rod end on this one broke, as you can see here. Trashed it, so. I need a new shock rod in for this, but other than that, this will be back to normal, back to being fixed as well. So, um, other than that, guys, both cars did pretty well. I did break the, the wing off of the back of here, but the wing is not actually broke. Just the piece that I had on here pulled out, that's gone. It was a carbon fiber piece. I'll have to get a new piece for that if I wanna put the wing back on, but that's pretty common, and that was a bad landing that I did. One of the other things I will say about this body, 
is that this body got jacked up pretty good. I mean, it's an old body. What I did like about this though, when Corrali did send these out, they did send us a brand new clear body. So you had two bodies in here. So I'm thinking I'm gonna go get that other body painted up and put on this uh, on this Kronos. The only other thing that broke, and that's pretty common with this car as well. I've had this happen to me a couple of times. The battery compartment. This, this is probably the biggest thing. The biggest weakness on this car is that this keeps breaking on me. If I have to say, if there's any part on here that I've had to put on here multiple times, that's the only one. That's the biggest one that I've had to replace multiple times is the battery tray. So if that's my only complaint, I think the battery tray was like 10 bucks. It's not that much. It's not a big deal. That did crack too in there and the Kangama. So yeah, those are my biggest complaints when it comes to Team Corrali is a battery tray. Those things always seem to break. But anyways, guys, other than that, this was a pretty fun run with two pretty epic RCs. Which one should you get? I don't know. That's pretty much up to you guys which one you should get. I think the Kangama is a better basher because this also has more years of engineering into it, you know, than the Kronos. Obviously, the Kronos being older. But that doesn't mean that there's anything wrong with the Kronos either. Um, I have a special place in my heart for this Kronos. Just something raw about the Kronos over the Kangama. The Kangama is like a refined rawness, whereas the Kronos is just raw. I don't know if there's any other way for me to put it, but that's how I put it, guys. So, you know, you can't go wrong with either one, guys, but it's fun. I'm gonna wrap this video up. If you like this video, give me a like, give me a subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.